trying to get a good picture of the economy and the stock market is nearly impossible because the second quarter 2020 came and went like a tornado. The economic devastation caused by the lockdowns was widespread. The destruction and damage may last longer than anyone anticipates. However, the major U.S. stock markets rallied at a blistering pace. The Dow had its best quarter in 33 years. The S&P 500 posted its best performance since 1998, and the Nasdaq had its biggest increase since 1999. The Nasdaq rallied 38.85% in just three months. Decades of government, corporate, and personal debt has built up like dead wood. Then, at the worst possible time, the government lockdown orders sparked a match and set everything on fire. The results were predictable to everyone but the so-called experts. Supply chains are broken. Retail sales at brick-and-mortar stores are declining, but bankruptcies are climbing. The nightly news has even carried the full society breakdown. And the solution? Mass corporate bailouts and the payroll protection program. Even Kanye West is grabbing a piece of the pie. The Fed has begun creating money from thin air. As of late June, the Fed has bought $428 million worth of corporate bonds in 86 different companies. These companies include Berkshire Hathaway Energy, McDonald's, Southwest Airlines, CVS, AT&T, Boeing, Coca-Cola, ExxonMobil, Ford, Walmart, United Health Group, Philip Morris International, and many, many more. The CARES Act also gifted a $1,200 stimulus check for schlubs like me. But let's be clear. If you want your fair share of the pie, you need investments because that's where the money will flow. However, I'm not advocating buy now and just buy anything. In fact, right now is the time to be very cautious. I say that because for me, that's what the charts are telling me. And the only way to get a good picture on what's happening is by looking at the charts. The charts will tell you the truth. So, let's take a look. So today we're going to look at one chart, which is the two-year weekly chart on the spiders, the SPY, and the close on Friday was 317.59. From that bottom, we've come up to this point here, but uh, we're a little lower than we were just nearly a month ago. To me, the price chart shows a bit of a topping process, and we've talked about this before. It may take a long time for that topping process to occur, but be patient. Here into the volume, you can see that definitely a decline here, and then again more recently over the last month or so, another decline. That's not necessarily a bad sign, but it certainly isn't good. Into the MAC, we definitely have the fast line and slow line continuing to accelerate up here near the zero line, but it's been a while and it's not above the zero, at least the slow line's not above the zero, and it seems to be sputtering just a little bit. And you can see that here in the histogram where we were powering on up here, but since then, we've kind of gone sideways, maybe slightly down. Again, a little bit of an indication of a topping process. Here into the price rate of change, Things look pretty good. We had a good spike up here, but we're well above that slow line. So I think this fast line is going to come on down, at least for the near term. So is that going to turn into a correction? Not necessarily, but let's see if it turns into a topping process. Moving on down here into the relative strength, we're at a moderate 61.57, but definitely not as high as we were here after that powered up move from that point there at the low in March up to early June. Since then, it's been a little bit of a decline. Again, another erosion in one of the oscillators we need to pay attention to. Stochastics, again from that bottom all the way up here, looks good. However, we did have a moment here where it looked like maybe it was going to turn over. Now, the difference between the fast line and the slow line is much narrower indicating a little bit of a topping process. We'll have to wait and see. This one isn't necessarily all that conclusive. 
Moving here into the Williams, the Williams to me is a little bit more indicative of a topping process. From that point up here, we've come all the way down to here. Now we have shot back up here into that overbought territory, but it's taken a lot to get up there and it really hasn't gone too far too fast. So once again, a bit of a topping process. So be aware and be cautious. We might be into the early stages of a topping process. So that's not the time to go out there and just buy and just buy anything. Be very cautious. Pick your spots. This might be a time for repositioning your investments as opposed to anything else. But just be prepared for the upside that may happen. But your stocks are going to carry you. So don't worry about it. What you need to worry about is the downside. And that's why I'm here. And the charts tell me that there is the possibility and I think the probability, the greater probability of a topping process. So be patient. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.